Hello, today we are here in order to perform an overload limit calibration in a material handling equipment Manitou MT625. This calibration is necessary to be performed when the component has been replaced or in case of its excessive wear because of the use of the machine. As we can observe on the overload display of the machine, we've got a warning. This warning makes the machine limit the function of the hydraulic system. To calibrate this sensor, we are going to use the diagnostic tool jaw test. first step to do is to locate the diagnostic socket. To do it, we will use jaw test by selecting the route, Manitou MT series, 600 series, and then selecting a system. Now we look for the location of the diagnostic socket. As we can see, the socket is placed under this glove box. We are going to proceed to connect the diagnostic tool. Once jaw test has been connected to the machine, we are going to perform the system scan. To do so, the ignition of the vehicle should be on. Then we will do the system scan. As we can observe in this machine, there are available systems of instrument cluster, central computer, and transmission. Using the system of central computer, we will perform the calibration of the overload sensor. In this system, we can find diagnosis, ECU data, real-time measurements, and calibration. To perform this calibration, it is necessary to use the expert mode. Following the steps indicated in jaw test, we proceed with the calibration. Initially, we will find a help message, which shows a different status in which the vehicle should be positioned. First, we have some initial conditions. It's necessary to crank the engine. The vehicle temperature is correct, therefore the process continues. Now jaw test indicates that it's necessary to move the boom in the maximum lowering position. But before doing this, we need to uncouple the implement. Once the implement has been uncoupled, we will proceed to retract the boom as indicated in jaw test. Once the boom has been retracted, we will continue with the process. To continue with the process, jaw test indicated that the stabilizer should be deployed in case the vehicle is equipped with them. Place the boom in maximum raising position. Once the boom is in its maximum position, we will continue with the process. The next step is to push the throttle fully and place the boom to the maximum lowering position retracted. We continue with the process. Now the implement should be coupled and the machine should be loaded with a weight of at least half of the nominal raising capacity. In this case, we can see the table provided by Manitou. The load capacity of this machine is 2,500 kilos.
Once the implement has been coupled, we will load the machine. By pushing the overload switch, we will force the machine to lift its rear part with the load we placed in the front part. As we can see, the rear part of the vehicle is lifted. Now we can continue with the process. The process has ended correctly. When the calibration has been finished, we can observe in the machine how the warnings have disappeared. The limitations of the hydraulic system have disappeared.